So do you guys remember my good friend Badr Khan from Iraqi Kurdistan? You know, the guy with the world's worst passport and the world's best laugh. Welcome to Kurdistan, no dangerous stuff. <laughs> Well, I have some unfortunate news that happened to him recently and I wanted to make a story on it now to get your thoughts on the situation. So I'll let him tell you exactly what happened. I flew from Germany from Frankfurt city and after 11 hours I landed in uh, Mexico City airport. Then I got inter interrogated by two Mexican officers for two hours. Uh, actually, there was language barrier uh, between us because they spoke only Spanish and my Spanish language skills depend only on this pasito. <laughs> and uh, so they asked me random questions like, am I a member of any military? <laughs> or does I know how to use any weapon? Oh my goodness. And then they went through all uh, my photos and my videos on my phone actually and um, Later on, they handed me six papers, uh, which uh, all were, were in Spanish. I asked, can I get English version? And they just say no. So I went through page, through the other one, and I found an old picture of mine. I asked, where did you got this old picture of mine? They didn't answer, just ignored me. And I was like, oh my goodness, I just remembered. It was the picture of my United States visa application, which I applied last year. It turned out that the United States um, and Mexican immigration data are shared. So I got reported by the United States uh, immigration that I got refused the US visa last year. So under their pressure, I got denied Mexican entry. And later on, the, of the Mexican officer, they took my phone and also my passport. They detained me for 25 hours. And after 25 hours, five officers escorted me to the plane and we were passing by the duty free and I saw this beautiful Mexican hat. I asked them, can I get one? And he just simply said, no. I said, why? He said, because I'm not officially on Mexican soil. So um, I said, but here I am, you, you see me, like I'm standing in front of you. <laughs> Actually, he just ignored me. So we walked, we walked into the plane and once we got in, he handed me back my phone, but they kept my passport with the cabin crew. And we flew back again to Germany for another 11 hours. So in two days, I flew around the world. <laughs> Imagine, in two days, I traveled around the world. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, this guy's so funny. Okay, I'm gonna call Badakan right now on Skype and talk about the situation with him right now. Hey! <laughs> Looking sexy, isn't it? First of all, I wanna know, do you think this happens often to many people or do you think they targeted you because of your passport? Well, it happened to many people actually, not just me. Like, uh, you know racism, like, uh, doesn't differentiate between you know, what do you call it um, like uh, it happened to like most of Middle Eastern African Latinos and also of course like some things like target more like uh, beard skin color and of course the cover of your passport too so how did you feel when when this all happened like what was your thought process actually it was like a dream like till now I, I don't think it happened actually like uh, Man, it's very hard to describe it. Like, uh, everything went so quickly and I was like, is it real? Like, because there was no reason for this to happen, you know? Right. <laughs> and you didn't get refund. Did they pay for your flight back to Germany? No. You had to pay for your flight? Zero. I know it's very expensive and I'm very crazy. So, did they ban you from going back to Mexico forever or can you go try and go again? I have no clue. I don't know, like, what happened to my case. Like, uh, but they told me that uh, it's like, because there was language barrier, but the thing which I understood, like, was like humanitarian way of deportation. Yeah. Like, there's no stamp on my passport. Yeah. And, uh, um, I want you to give one last message to end this video. You have millions of people watching. What do you want to say about everything? Tell me, how am I supposed to live with a. <laughs> You always stay positive, man. That's amazing. Traveling is the cure of racism. So no matter how many barriers and walls try to stop you, we will get a kick and smash those walls hand in hand around the world, from north to south, east to uh, west. The flame will go hand in hand, and we will uh, travel every country around the world. Love it, bro. Thank you so much. See you later.
Yalla, bye bye. <laughs> what a guy. It's obviously so horrible and depressing and breaks my heart to hear about what happened to my good friend Badr Khan. It's, he's such an innocent and amazing cool guy and he was just going to Mexico on a vacation. Um, and this is a problem. So I would love to get your guys' thoughts on the situation. Please comment below, share exactly what's on your mind. I would love to get some debate and discussion going on this matter. Thank you, have a great day. I'm Drew Binsky, and if you like my travel videos, please click subscribe and join me as I plan to visit every country in the world.